So thumbnails, how to make a thumbnail stand out and how to make it quickly. Today I talk to you about my tips and tricks and how I make thumbnails, which I think are the most important thing next to a good title and of course good content, but to have your video viewed when it's gonna be on that YouTube recommended list or any kind of YouTube search result. So today we're gonna talk to you about some tricks on how you can maximize your thumbnail game. So let's roll. So welcome back everybody. My name is Steven of Steven and Janica and today we are talking all about thumbnails. Yes, that's right. These little bad boys that are on your feed for when you are going to select that next video to look at or also how you're presenting your work. There's nothing worse than being able to shoot your video, have fantastic content only to have the views kind of falter because the thumbnail and the title aren't the best. My tricks and how you can get these thumbnails going are simple. They're right to the point and they also elevate your game in order to show your work. And you don't need to be a graphic designer to do this. So you can totally ask Janik at this, but both he and I can agree, I'm kind of obsessed when it comes to making and perfecting that thumbnail for the YouTube video that we're about to post. I mean, in some ways, I'm often spending as much time in planning and shooting and getting that thumbnail ready as sometimes I do in planning and actually editing the video itself. But a thumbnail in tandem with a good title is so vitally important to the algorithm nowadays to be able to combine a higher ranking portion of your video on suggested feeds and on recommended feeds. You want to be able to clearly identify to the viewer what the title is and what the video showcases. And that thumbnail, well, that tells the whole story. So here are my top four tips for setting up that thumbnail. Number one, make sure that your dimensions are 1280 by 720. Number two, make sure that your video thumbnail is less than two megabytes in size. Number three, make sure that you are utilizing a high definition JPEG or a high definition image. And number four, try and use yourself. Uh, Studies have shown as well as market research that people often tend to click on thumbnails that have a person or a subject in them rather than a scene or rather than an inanimate object. People like to see the person telling the story behind the thumb. So why not utilize yourself in that thumbnail? So you may often see that there's many thumbnails on YouTube that have kind of buzzwords or key features on their thumb like arrows or kind of suggestive tags to try and encourage the user to click on that. And that is a hugely successful thing as well because when you're scrolling through your feed and seeing multiple thumbs, if you have an eye-catching presence to the thumb, it's gonna make the viewer wanna click on it to view the video. So the two programs that I use to make my thumbnails are Photoshop and also Adobe XD. Now, Adobe XD, you might say, is more of a web design and app development program, which is definitely true. However, I find that Adobe XD is a great application to use to set up and create and do quick edits on thumbnails. And quick disclaimer, I'm definitely not sponsored by Adobe or any manufacturer. So these are all my honest opinions on gear and software that I have purchased with my own money. So enough of the technicals, I'm gonna hop into Adobe XD and walk you through how I create a thumbnail both for YouTube as well as for IGTV. Let's go. So let's hop into Adobe XD. Now this brings up the thumbnail that you might re remember it's from our Anamorphic D-Squeeze episode from a couple of weeks back. So this is the uh, YouTube thumbnail right here and this is the Instagram IGTV thumbnail. So a quick disclaimer, this IGTV thumbnail, if you're uh, gonna be setting it up at home, it is a great dimension to use with 420 by 654. So if you're gonna be setting up that IGTV, make sure you set up to 420 by 654. This dimension ratio will give you the optimal uh, thumbnail for utilizing that uh, posting to IGTV when you're uploading your video because why not use the uh, YouTube video you just made and put it on Instagram? It's a great way of sharing your video on multiple platforms. So here we go. Um, we're gonna open up a new artboard uh, and you can do this in Adobe XD. And 
One thing about Adobe XD is there is a free version of it. There's Adobe XD Starter, I believe, and that enables you to utilize many of the features in Adobe XD. You can make artboards and you can create designs. It does have some limitations for sharing your components and sharing your work with other colleagues. Uh, but I mean, if you're looking at saving some money, take a look at the free version of Adobe XD because it's definitely worth checking out. So we're gonna select two options here. You can just select the web 1920 by 1080 to start with, or you can create a custom canvas at that 1280 by 720. But let's just quickly go into this and create this canvas here. And from here, we have a canvas board that we can work and design around. So if you select the canvas board, you can transform it over here to what you need. So as I said before, it's 1280 width by 720 height. And that is the optimal uh, viewing board for creating a thumbnail on YouTube. And now we're gonna essentially drop and drag our elements onto this thumbnail. So I'm gonna drag the image over here of my uh, image I used for the thumbnail of this episode. Now, as you can tell, this, this thumbnail is definitely edited in Lightroom. There is uh, some editing going on with the saturation, the shadows, as well as the highlights of the photo. And so that is where you can get creative. You can be able to bring your photos in that are edited to showcase that video work. You can also, of course, in Photoshop, you can cut yourself out. You can do all sorts of elements to kind of create layers amongst that photo. So you can definitely do that. But for the sake of creating this particular thumbnail, we're just gonna follow how I made the last one. So I'm gonna grab the elements that I took from that last one, and I'm just gonna move them over here and drop them on. Just move them down here one a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna first of all drag on this little anamorphic flare uh, we have here, a little blue flare, and we're gonna layer on this particular uh, text layer. And it's very easy to manipulate text in Adobe XD. Just hit the text area here, type your text, and you can select your text as well as uh, change it on the right here with the tool panel. And it's, it's quite intuitive. There's definitely lots of options you can do to change the font. You can change the width of the font, There's the uh, style of uh, alignment from uh, all kinds of different options, as well as drop shadow and fill and that sort of thing. So it's a very versatile program of being able to utilize text on your photo. So anyways, let's just quickly drag the elements on here. And uh, this essentially has made our thumbnail. Bada bing, bada boom. So once you've made that thumbnail, you can select the artboard, go to file, go to export, go to selected, and you can save this as a ping SVG PDF or JPEG. For YouTube, I always recommend selecting JPEG. And let's just save this as a test test thumbnail. I always select it at 100% quality because why not? It'll make the file a little bit larger, but the beautiful thing about Adobe XD is that it compiles it down to a size of file that's less than a megabyte usually. So really helpful for making your thumbnails. Uh, I export it always as design and there you go. We're gonna press export and we've now exported our thumb. So if we go over to YouTube, where I am putting up a thumbnail for a mock video on how to make a thumbnail, it's quite simple. All I gotta go do, pardon me, is go to this upload thumbnail option right here. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna find where you put that particular file, which I'm guessing is, yeah, it's in the documents. So select that, you're gonna open there and there you go. We now have our thumbnail associated with our video. And as you can tell, it fits the dimensions perfectly of that 1280 by 720. So, you know, it's a lot better to select a thumbnail than it is to go with the thumbnail that it, it you know, it selects for you within this YouTube uh, generator when you're uploading your video. So take the time and being able to establish that correctly. If I go back to Adobe XD and showcase how we can set up an artboard for IGTV, that's also quite simple. So if we go over here to this little tool here, we can utilize multiple thumbnails and artboards on that same canvas. So let's go right here and we're just gonna select something that's kind of similar to that ratio. I think the, the iPhone X is kind of similar-ish. So remember back before when we were looking at the other artboard, that is 420 by 654. So we can adjust this now, 420 by 654. 
And essentially, we can now create a thumbnail for IGTV. So the beautiful thing about uh, XD is that you can just drop and drag elements directly on to that thumb, uh, that new uh, canvas board by holding down the option button and dragging over the file. So now I've got this uh, similar image right here and I can do all sorts of things with it. I could have that image taking up the majority of the real estate of that particular canvas. I could have it more as a, a smaller vertical design. And then I can do things like throwing in a box, for example, by creating a box layer right here. I always turn off the border on box because it is a default in XD. And let's make it uh, blue or how about darker blue? There you go, that's kind of nice. And to make it faster, I just hold that down, press option again, and then I drag down. So I've created a secondary box. I can drag it further. And how about let's take over that text. So if I once again, press option on this other artboard and drag it over again, we now can change quickly uh, setting up this particular uh, artboard. So how about moving D squeeze over to, and we can make that maybe a larger, or we can drop it down or, or whatever else. And then we can do that. And, uh, or we can even move this up top. We can move this below, uh, all sorts of things. If you want to also drag on the, the two premier options too, we could, oopsies, we could uh, drag those on as well by moving that there and you know adjusting it accordingly of course obviously taking into ratios and corners and that sort of thing but i mean really roughly you now have you know, let's let's throw a let's throw a gradient on too why not make it a bit more fun there you go so once again you've now created a thumbnail for igtv so we can also save that as a saveable file whoopsies we can also pardon me export that as a selected file we go down here again to the uh, setup here and we're going to call this igtv thumb save it as a jpeg save quality export design and bada bing bada boom we now have ourselves if we go over to documents we now have ourselves a thumbnail that we can utilize in igtv which is the same idea of the thumbnail that we have for youtube so Adobe XD is highly valuable at being able to create these two unique thumbnails on the same canvas board, utilizing the same elements. So it enables you to do all of this in one window without having to jump in multiple windows that you often have in Photoshop and other uh, programs that you can use to edit your photos in. So there you have it. That's how I create my thumbnails in Adobe XD, both for YouTube as well as for my little secret of IGTV. I hope you found this video helpful and please hit that like and subscribe button below and drop us a comment on how you set up your thumbnails or tips and tricks and how you can maximize that first video impression. Thumbnails are important. Spend your time on making a good thumb because you will definitely reap the view reward. And until next time, we will catch you later. Bye.